Today I will be making copper oxalate, which is a light blue copper compound, which is also used as a catalyst. For this reaction we will need 25 grams of copper sulfate and 12.6 grams of oxalic acid. I will start by measuring out the copper sulfate and then dissolving it in 300 milliliters of distilled water by putting it onto the stir plate and heating it slightly because the copper sulfate is always hard to dissolve. Simultaneously I'm measuring out the oxalic acid which unfortunately formed big clumps which made it harder to measure out. After that I dissolved the oxalic acid in about 200 milliliters of distilled water and then put it onto the stir plate after the copper sulfate was finished dissolving. Two minutes later the oxalic acid was finished dissolving. Now I'm ready to start the reaction by giving the copper sulfate to the oxalic acid. We can see that there is a nice cyan color precipitating out instantly. What is happening here is that copper sulfate and oxalic acid is reacting to copper oxalate and sulfuric acid. I let it stir for a few more minutes to make sure everything has reacted. After that I took it off the stirring and then started the gravity filtration. Unfortunately the filtration didn't work really well Probably because the filter paper had a leak or something. I also tested the pH of the solution which turned out to be 1. This should be the sulfuric acid but I'm not sure if some oxalic acid didn't react. After that I filtered it again because I didn't get it out of product which is probably because of a leak in the filter paper. This is the result of the two filtrations and I'm quite happy with it. Now I'm gonna let it dry for a day. This is how the copper oxalate looked like in the next morning and I'm really happy with it. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscription and see you in the next project.